In this video, you'll learn the difference between IAM or Identity and Access Management and IDAS or Identity as a Service. Let's face it, the modern identity management space is confusing. There's a ton of solutions available from many different vendors, and nearly every solution comes with its own acronyms. It would take a much longer video to decode every identity management acronym, but today we'll tackle two of the biggest ones, IAM and IDAS. Let's start with IAM. Identity and Access Management, more commonly called IAM, is the big umbrella term for solutions that handle user accounts and control who gets access to what. Under the IAM umbrella, you've got the core identity provider, aka Directory Services. It keeps track of all the user identities and their access to IT resources. Then there's other subcategories like directory extensions, web application single sign-on, privileged identity management, and privileged access management that handles higher security accounts. Over time, IAM has become a lot more complex. In the old days, everything was on-premises and mostly revolved around Microsoft's Windows via Active Directory. Since then, the rise of web applications changed the IT landscape and made identity management using old-school on-prem solutions harder. To tackle this challenge, a bunch of cloud-based solutions were developed to either improve or replace the old ways or handle identities. And that's how modern-day IAM was born. Now, let's switch gears and talk about Identity as a Service, or IDAS. IDAS is a subcategory of IAM. Basically, it's all about making it easier to use web applications by extending user identities with single sign-on so users don't have to remember a bunch of different logins. In the past, IDAS solutions were added on top of traditional identity providers like Active Directory to make them work with web apps. This lets IT organizations keep using their old systems while also accessing cloud-based apps. But here's the thing. That solution isn't perfect for today's world. With remote work, people using their own devices and different operating systems, management gets a bit messy. That's why most modern IDAS solutions work in the cloud. They give IT teams a central place where they can easily authenticate users and manage access to all kinds of resources. These new IDAS options are great because they can connect users to their apps no matter where they're working from or what device they're using. Plus, they help improve security by giving users one secure identity to access all their stuff. It's like having a single key that opens all the doors. That was a lot of information, but if you're still getting these two terms confused, here's what you need to remember. IAM is the broad category of managing user identities. When you want to take your user management to the cloud and use it with single sign-on, that's called IDAS. The world of IAM keeps changing, especially as more and more of our IT stuff moves to the cloud. If you haven't made the move to IDAS yet, it's about time to do so. That's where JumpCloud's directory platform can help. With JumpCloud, admins can manage user accounts and connect them to any IT resources, all from the cloud. No need for complicated on-premises applications or extra add-ons, it's all in one place. Check out the link in the description to learn more about JumpCloud and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more educational videos.